Welcome to Gregolis TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. The most hyped device that I am eagerly anticipating that potentially could come out towards the end of this year, if not in early next year, is the Samsung Galaxy XR headset. XR stands for extended reality. It's gonna be somewhere in between virtual reality and augmented reality and have its own little world. If you know the Apple Vision Pro, this will be a competitor to that. And this is, I love these devices. I have an Apple Vision Pro, which I have to admit, I don't use it that much. Still waiting for that killer app to come to it. I probably would use it more if YouTube was built into it. Now I can use the browser to watch YouTube, but it's just not the same for it. I really want the YouTube app on there. And then beyond that, there's, some cool things in there like some of the games are cool that you can do on there like the augmented reality type games that are right in front of you and board games it's just you, the things i'm really looking forward to in terms of extended reality are some kind of really cool social media type thing um, that is fun and interesting they have some some stuff like that but there really needs to be a killer social app and then also i just want youtube and then i'll be pretty much happy with it um, you can do some of that stuff already on meta um, apple stuff is obviously another level of all that stuff but samsung's device is taking some of its design elements from the galaxy s25 per ice universe who's saying some of the design and features of the S25 take into account into the Galaxy XR. Now, what possibly could he mean by that? Well, in terms of design and features, this is what we potentially think the phone's gonna look like, which really isn't that much of a jump from the previous generations of the Galaxy S line, but you've gotta think that it's probably gonna be really high quality made, because the S line is, you gotta think that it's probably going to be really cool and edgy looking. It's not gonna be like, I would, I would square, square it off maybe somewhere off on it, since they're doing a lot of squared um, edges on the phones now for the S25 Ultra. That's all I can really think about. The color scheme will probably be very similar to an S25 series of phone. The processor inside will probably be something similar or something as powerful as an S25 phone. The cameras inside, hopefully, will be S25 quality. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking about. Um, some of the features, if you're thinking about feature-wise, you got to expect that probably some of the software features, like the, the, the Samsung features, the Samsung apps that are built into that, maybe you're going to have some ability to use good lock in there or to multitask and control some of your devices easily, wirelessly on that. That's what I would guess would be some of the things. Now the extended reality headset from Samsung is due, at least what we think so far, is that it's going to be a standalone device, meaning you won't have to connect it to a phone or a, a computer or anything like that. You can use it independently of any other device if you want. And it's supposed to potentially have a 3500 PPI OLED screen built into it so when you look through it it should be really high quality display that you're looking at and the display should be made by sony now this is again it's just a, it's a smart place to get into i feel like i feel like apple's is amazing it's really intuitive really easy to use and hopefully samsung goes that same route and it's really intuitive and easy to use and i think they will and they'll probably even add some features in there that apple doesn't have or should have um obviously ai will play a big part into this samsung galaxy ai is huge right now with what they do a lot of a lot of technology and features and their software is just kind of built around all of that and you get to expect they're also going to do that but I just, I love these devices because they really take you out of the world that you're in. And it's great for a flight. It's great for just getting away. It's great for having your own display and you being huge and being able to multitask and work. There's so many great reasons for these. The price just needs to get extremely low, much lower into at least under 1500 bucks, which who knows when and if that will ever happen. They need to be having killer apps that are really, um, important to have and use on these devices. Movie watching is amazing on these devices. To be in like a theater uh, or to be in this own little world and you can watch 3D movies on it, like it's amazing. So let me know your thoughts on this. Would this be a device that you want or not? Let us know in the comments down below. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.